Welcome to Report and Run Integrate. In this video, we will show you how to use one of the most powerful features available to subscribers, Image Builder. Image Builder can combine up to six images into one image. This allows you to show before and after, an overview and details, progressions, and comparisons. When you first open Image Builder, you are presented with two blank image cells. By tapping the Images icon, you can select the number of images we want to include. You can explore the standard layouts using the slider. Let us choose five images and then tap the check button. Tap on the layout button to select the desired layout. This layout is the first. Adjust the slider to see the others. Tap the check button to confirm your selection. It is possible to set the image ratio. 4x3 is the default value. You can adjust the image ratio via the slider. Choose 1x1 one one and tap the check button. We are now ready to populate our layout and build our image. Tap once on the icon in the middle of the larger image cell and choose an image from the gallery. You will see the new image has been placed in the container. There is a problem. The image doesn't fill the available space. Time to use another powerful feature called Image Editor. Tap once on the image. You can pinch to zoom and rotate if required, and you can now pan around the image to find the best aspect of your main image. From here, we can delete the image, adjust the brightness, adjust the contrast, adjust the saturation, or reset the image. When you are satisfied with the image, tap the Save button. For this example, we are going to produce a primary and detail image layout. Let's clone the image to another cell. Long press the main image and then drag the raised image to any other cell. You can see a copy of the original image has landed in the cell. You can also move the image to a different cell by long pressing on a blank cell, dragging it to the filled cell. We are going to populate the other blank cells. With Image Editor, you can take a closer look. We have not finished yet. The image looks amazing, but we can add a border around the cells so that they don't blend together. Tap on the Line tool and adjust the spacing to suit your needs. We can also change the color of the border. That looks better. Now we have the final image. At this point, tap the Save button and you can start the annotations and comments. Once you have saved the image, you can add annotations and comments. We hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough of Image Builder. For more information on Report and Run, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at www.reportandrun.com/cloud.